guys, welcome back to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hate to be bringing a video such as this to you, but it is fine time. It has to be addressed. Um, you probably see the title. Um, respect of the channel or some such. I don't know how I'm going to title it, but you do know that it's going to be titled as such. Um, well, let me just tell you a little bit of what's been going on. For those of you who've been following me and you've been checking my channel out, you know recently I did a video regarding um, Pastor Paul Begley and Anita Fuentes. Okay? Since then, which of course I expected, I've still been getting a lot of backlash. It doesn't bother me. Not at all. A lot of people have been um, commenting, saying a lot of evil, sick, twisted stuff. You know, and they send me a message and um, some send something and go on. But some will send messages and, you know, they try to say things to try to ignite something in me don't work so what i have been doing is just not responding there was one you know early on that you know i responded to you know in a nice way and trying to tell her you know scripture i think i went to ephesians 5 verse 6 or something along that lines and um you know i think the last thing i said was you know i will pray that um you find peace in your heart or something to the, those lines. She just kept right on. So after I said that, I left it at that. Okay, but do know this. When you come to my channel, of course, I don't expect everybody to agree with everything I say. Anything I say, if you're a Christian. And I don't mean that ugly when I say that, but when I'm done with what I'm saying, you're going to know why I asked. I mean, I said, if you're a Christian. Um, just, you know, when you when you comment, um, I, I don't mind that being negative. Because everybody is title, entitled to their own opinion. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Again, I don't expect everybody to agree with what I say, but when you go to anybody's channel, including mine, do pray before, um, you know, you when you're listening to, to anybody. And I say that all the time because I don't pose to know everything. Nobody knows everything. I don't care if you read the whole entire Bible. You don't know everything about the, the Word of God because it's ever-flowing. Um... You go in it every time. You can read the same thing five times. Each time you go, you go in, and many of you know, you know that you will get a better and a more revelation on, on something you read. But um, this particular person recently, and I will not call out her name, but um, hmm, I happen to be uh, glancing at, you know, when we get new videos in, and you subscribe to them, the video will pop up. So I kind of glanced at Anita Fuentes' video. And over to the side of the comments, I saw um, this particular person that had been on my channel complaining uh, to me about Anita Fuentes. And also telling me how, you know, I'm not a Christian because I follow her. And, you know, just a lot of negative stuff and um just every time somebody come in on on that particular video she goes in and tag them and, and says a lot of ugly stuff but today it got ridiculous okay ridiculous now you would think that if these particular people have uh, problems with um anita fuentes and paul begley and I've seen it on his too. You would think they would just stop watching the video, right? No, they don't. And this particular person, I just watched uh, 
Anita Fuentes video, I think it was Sunday, and um, I think I watched like 10 minutes of it. That's all I had time to watch at, at first, and I, I paused it, and I went back and watched it later, and I'm just looking down in the comments, and I'm like, wait a minute, it's the same person that coming in my video made all this big charade, like, you know, as if she didn't like uh, nothing Anita Fuentes and Paul Begley said, but yet she's on one of Anita's newest videos tagging everybody that makes almost everybody that made a comment on it and calling them all kinds of names calling talking about Anita Fuentes and you know and then come to my channel and tell me what I'm not and who I am for following them and being subscribed to them so with all that said if there are any of you um that is in question still about Anita Fuentes and Paul Begley. Scripture tells us you shall know them by their fruits. Okay. Now, somebody, you know, called her out as far as her being a Christian. Again, you shall know them by her fruit, by their fruits. Because me, if somebody said something on the channel that I didn't like, I'm not going to watch it. You know, you that's what the up and the down uh, deal is for. You click up if you like it. You click the down button if you don't like it. It's, 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 it's simple. And um, But they're still watching Paul Begley's and Anita Fuentes' video. But yet, Paul Begley, I mean, Anita Fuente is supposed to be a money-hungry Something, 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 and this and that, and something that she called her. You know, and and she, Anita Fuente is supposed to be leading people away from Christ, is what she, you know, is trying to tell people. Again, Satan has his minions too. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's really, really, really sad that you would have the time to put all your time and energy focus on telling people what not to look at. And again, if you had any question about Anita Fuentes and Paul Begley, you shouldn't. Because um, the Holy Spirit is always going to lead us into uh, truth. Okay? You will be able to decipher uh, who the tares are. And, uh, you know, she today started using foul language, the B words, the F words, and uh, somebody commented me, not even on that, I mean, um, I don't even think it was on that video, it was something else, and um, somebody said, yeah, somebody did say something nice on the Anita Fuentes uh, video thanking me and I just happened to scroll by it when I saw that oh pause hit the brakes no ma'am no way we will not I will not tolerate that I do not mind anybody saying you can say your negative stuff but be respectful okay uh, because everybody have their opinion you, you, you say your positive stuff, whatever. I, you know, I, I don't mind. This is a social media wavelength. I, I, I understand that. But if you can't do it respectfully and and stay with within the, the graces of your mouth and you got to be foul with it, you might as well run on because I'm not going to put up with that. And, uh, you know, I'm not real computer savvy, but I know people that know people. And immediately I got uh, somebody on it and got on my channel and uh, erased her comments and uh, banned her from commenting on the video, period. So she's banned from this channel. I won't tolerate it. Now, I've had some people say some ugly stuff to me. I didn't have them to send some inbox messages, and I didn't have them to say some stuff on videos, and I didn't ban them. But when you start using foul language and you you attacking my other subscribers, 
I stand up for what was right. That was the whole point of me standing up for Anita Fuentes and Paul Begley. Be it that you, you may think that they're not good people. That's all fine too. But I stand up for what's right. And I know I'm just a, a, a little person, you know, but that's fine. I stand up for what's right. And I, I will not tolerate it. I will not have it. The week started off kind of crazy. So I'm just letting you know I had to nip that in the bud. Satan has been busy around my camp. Understandable. Because I know a lot of stuff I talk about on this channel. He ain't very happy about it. And I don't care. But God knew one thing when he pressed on my heart to do this. He didn't know one thing. I ain't scared to tell it. I ain't scared to tell the truth, and I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing, and I ain't gonna hold back. Not gonna do it. So again, I know a lot of stuff I talk about, a lot of people don't agree with, and it's not popular. It ain't popular with Satan. And, and again, the reason why they're attacking uh, Anita Fuentes and Paul Begley, I mean, it's evident now. You know who the bad ones. You talking about them, but you riding around on channels and, and going back and forth. Instead of making a video, you so smart in the word and they got it all wrong. Make your own video. Leading people to Christ. No, you're not leading people to Christ. You're dividing is what you're doing. Is what you're doing. You're spending too much time and energy in, in the wrong stuff. That's that's not godly at all. And I, again, I will not tolerate the disrespect on the channel because I have other uh, subscribers and, um, you know, a, a lot of them. Uh, I feel like all my subscribers are my family. We all are. We all in the body of Christ. We're all family. So I'm not going to let just anybody attack any of my subscribers and have them thinking that I will put up with such stuff. Nope, not going to do it. Mm -mm. I ain't putting up with that. I don't put up with nobody in the real world. I, and I know YouTube is real world too. I'm just saying. Through the, the YouTube ways, I ain't going to do it in here. No, not going to do it. Not going to put up with it. So, um, yeah, but anyway, Satan tried to... I did a recent testimony on um, Minister Star Nicole Lewis' show. Um, it's been about two weeks ago. And um, the same thing I did a testimony about, Satan tried to um, download the same mess in my little 10 year old's head. But what he did not know was I have some prayer warriors. Devil stomping subscribers, and I, I reached out to some, had them uh, to go in with me in prayer, and also um, Mama Minister Nicole Loa and Miss Minister Nicole Loa. My baby is a okay. She wanted me to let you guys know that I thought she'd be close around, but she she wanted to tell you thank you herself, but she's doing much better. Oh, yeah, she's much better. Because, uh, she know, her mama is a warrior. She don't give up. So, Satan got busy. He been laid off. Because mm -mm. around this camp, we going to serve the Lord. Amen. But, um, yeah, I won't, I, won't, I won't put up with that. So, I just wanted to take this time out. Let you guys know that I know I'm supposed to, been, supposed to be doing a video this week on uh, communion and more news. But it's been very, very busy. Hectic at jo my job and, you know, when that happened with my little girl, um, I had to go to battle. So, um, all is well now. And um, I am a little busy preparing for um, the World Vision Day. World Vision Day, Friday. Don't forget, 12 noon. Be out in the streets, the highways, the byways, preaching the gospel. Getting people saved. If you don't want to open your mouth, pass out Bible tracts. 
The Holy Spirit would be pouring it out so thick around 12 noon. Central time, my time. But whatever time zone you in, 12 noon, get out there. Okay? Um, but I think I'm going to stop this video here. It's been 15 minutes already. And um, you guys, uh, when I'm not making a video, I hope and pray that you be, you're in your word. When you don't see me upload a video, you're in your word. But um, there'll be some videos coming up soon. I just have to get everything um, ironed out um, around here. And um, on the 15th, I think um, I'm going to be uh, online uh, radio talk blog again. I will let you guys know the details on that. But again, stay in your word. Stay blessed. If you haven't been, if you haven't been saved, I encourage that you do so. Time is running out. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks.